Welcome back to the next episode of Araka Central. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do like this content. In this video, we're going to talk about the Chome Company. Who are they? How do they operate? How do they actually have influence over the spice? So Chome, our Chome Company, is the conglomerate that controls all trade within the known universe. But this also includes the spice as well as other goods. The acronym CHOM actually stands for Combine Honote Ober Advancer Mercantiles. These words are reported to have come from ancient earth languages and various different languages. So the first thing to remember is after the events of the Balearian Jihad, interstellar trade was pretty much in chaos. So after the Balearian Jihad, Advanced AI was banned, meaning that the use of those types of ships for folding space or a warp travel were not allowed anymore, and spice wasn't fully being utilized within the spacing guild yet. This led to a power vacuum within the lands rad or the various houses, which would later be the lands rad, and having a trade deficit, so to speak. Eventually, there'd be a financial side nod on Aurarium 4. This was around 10 to 5 BG before the guild. During this meeting, the formation of the Chum Company was finally established. Soon after, the spacing guild navigators would offer safe space folding travel by the use of the spice, which they guaranteed safe and reliable trade routes as well. The Chum Company and the Spacing Guild were determined to be apolitical, but we all know how that worked out. Moving back to the time of Dune, the corporation's management is controlled by the Padishah Emperor and then their lands right representatives. The Chom Company was a publicly held corporation within the Imperium and members of the Landsrad that were a large shareholder would be granted directorships and then placed on the board of directors of the Chome Company. Chome Company was not only responsible for the spice trade, but also responsible for all mercantile trade across the Imperium. Every major faction from the Landsrads to the Bene Gesserit Sisterhood, from the Spacing Guild itself, all of them had to go through Chum Company in some form or fashion to conduct trade. The Chum Company would rely on the Spacing Guild for transportation of its goods, the spice, through the Spacing Guild with the use of their space holding ships. So it was an interesting dynamic that Chum had the power of the mercantile and the spice, but then at the same time, the Spacing Guild relied on its money from Chum by the use of its space folding ships. So that's one that talks about they're a silent partner, but in reality, they have just as much power. The most interesting part about Chom is during the events of the rise of Paul Atreides as Muad'Dib, and when Paul began his mission to pretty much stop all spice production on the planet Dune. This would affect all the profits that Chom was gathering which also in turn would affect the profits for the spacing navigators and then all the directorships and of course the emperor himself. And I am very interested to see how much Chome is shown in Dune Part 2 which comes out in less than a month. And I would like to see if there's any connection in there where it talks about uh, the emperor and why he actually has to show up and land on Dune. Which we know happens if you read the books and I want to see how that unfolds in the new movie. I'm very excited to see that. But in closing, to recap, Chome is the large corporation in the Imperium overseen by the Emperor and the directorships of the Chome that control all the mercantile and especially the spice trade throughout the Imperium. And during the events of Dune, Paul Atreides, or Muad'Dib, will bring spice production almost to a standstill and this will really affect the profits that Chom gathers from the spice trade. And before I tell this last part, this is a spoiler warning. 
for post the Dune novel and the movie, but later on when Paul is the Emperor, the guild navigators on the request of Chome Company essentially will come to Paul and will be begging to have more spice allotted to them. So I do find that interesting and uh, to see if any of that is shown in Dune Part 2. But if you do like this content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.